Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video, folks. Today in this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about taming a Hyenodon. Now, this video is mainly aimed at PvE players on official servers. However, there will be good information for anyone that wants to tame a Hyenodon. Now, the Hyenodon is a passive tame, and in order to tame it, of course, you'll need to sneak up behind it. And instead of feeding it food, you will have to pet it. Now, Hyenodons do travel in packs, so let's get started. So first things first, you need to find a pack of Hyenodons. Once you have found them, they may attack you, but you can see that they may also run away from you. If the Hyenodons think that they cannot defeat you, they will run away. Now, in the pack, there will be one with a flaming aura kind of thing around it. That is the pack leader. That is normally the highest level, so what you'll need to do is you'll need to get rid of its companions because you can't tame it whilst it has companions around it. Uh, once you've done that, you can just wait it out, keep your eye on it. Eventually, it will stop running. Uh, obviously, once it runs away from you. So just keep an eye on it. And when it starts to um, settle down, then we move on to the next phase. Now, on PvP servers, you may be able to pick it up and take it into a trap. On PvE servers, that is not a thing. So, because this is aimed at... PvE servers. I'm going to show you what to do. First things first, we're going to use a bowler. We're going to sneak up on it and then bowler it, after which we're going to start knocking it out. Yes, I know it is a passive team, but the Hyenodons do spawn in very dangerous areas. And if you're going to wander around trying to tame it, you might find yourself uh, being snuck up on by something that you don't really want to deal with. So obviously we want to do this in a safe manner. So for that reason, we're going to knock it out, then build a cage around it. Now, you may need to knock it out uh, by bowling it a couple of times just keep that in mind so whilst it's now currently bowled i am just going to pepper it with trank darts now i have access to a ascendant long neck rifle you may not so bear that in mind as you will as i said potentially have to uh bowl it a couple of times when it gets free and runs away what you'll need to do is just wait for it to calm down once it calms down we'll bowl it again and Put some more darts into it now you can see that there are some houses in the distance on my server i have npcs that do uh run around and basically just annoy you so obviously for that reason you know i'd like to for example um tame it in a safe cage so obviously i've tried kiting it into a trap uh they don't really want to come into traps uh with the new ai changes uh which is why we're knocking it out this time around so instead of trying to kite the hyena don into a trap we're bringing the trap to the hyena don uh it takes a bit longer this way because we have to wait for the hyena don to wake up but it still is effective also uh with passive tames it can be a little derpy so just hang fire i'll show you a nice little thing that seems to work just nicely uh okay it's been knocked out so here's the hyena don i'm gonna build a decent size um trap because bear in mind the hyenodon will want to wander about we will have to sneak behind it and uh pet it whilst it's wandering about without actually aggroing it so keep that in mind when you're building your little taming cage uh, i'm going to go with two walls tall uh, that is my recommendation just to keep things out you can go higher if you want to now I'm going to remove these pieces right here. I initially put them down just to keep stuff out. I'm going to put a stone dinosaur gateway down. Keeping an eye on stuff behind me just to make sure things don't sneak up on me. Now I know I have the gates here so I'll just place this down. This is uh, my way in and out of the taming cage. And once this is complete, it's just a case of waiting for the Hyenodon to wake up. You can wait next to it or... If you want, you can wander off and do some other stuff and come back at a later time. The Hyenodon should still be there. I'm just going to clear the area out, make sure there is no danger. There we go. Now, when you do enter the cage, keep in mind that the Hyenodon will be wandering about. You don't want it to be close to the gate, uh, just in case. But what we'll have to do is sneak behind it and try and pet it. Uh, it can be a bit derpy. Uh, if you do aggro it though, so there we go, 
we've aggroed it. That's what that little bark means. It's going to want to run away because it hasn't got a pack. What we'll do is we'll wait for it to de-aggro. It does de-aggro eventually. So I'll just wait here. Okay, we should be ready to pet it. But do bear in mind that when you do sneak up behind it to pet it, it can be a bit derpy. As you can see, I'm not getting the prompt. But there is a little trick that we can do, and it seems to work a bit better with this. Let me get a bowler out. And I'll just have the bowler in my hand. I'm not going to bowl it or anything. But it seems to work better with the crosshairs from the bowler. So uh, it will want a pet every 30 seconds. And we'll just wait here for about 30 seconds. We'll go back in and give it another pet. This is kind of cool because we're not really giving it food. So it doesn't really want to starve out. Okay. Let me give this another go right now. We've got nine seconds. But as you can see, with the crosshairs from the bowler, we get the prompt from quite a fair distance. Whereas without the bowler in our hands, it's uh, it's uh, very derpy. So I do wonder if this method is something that we can use when also passively trying to tame other creatures. Because there is a bit of an issue with the feeding prompts showing up. Uh, it's something that I've just recently discovered, and it's worth keeping an eye on it so we will need to pet it a couple of times i will have my bowl out for the entirety of this tame just because it makes things pop up a bit quicker okay this should be the last one there we go there is one tamed hyena don and throughout this whole time the hyena don didn't wander into danger it didn't put it or me in any danger and as I said, this was pretty much aimed at PvE servers, but uh, on PvP, of course, you can pick it up and drop it in a trap and do the exact same thing. Just remember about having the bowler out as it does make it easier to get the prompt and therefore tame it. I hope you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button, share, comment and subscribe. And of course, as always, until next time, stay safe, folks.